Hello happy people Hamza here and welcome to this tutorial. Now in this video I'm going to show you how to create a header and a footer using the elements kit free header and footer builder. So it will look just like this. You can navigate to different pages. It shows up on the entire site. When I go to projects it shows up just like this. The same when I go to contact it shows up just like this. We have even a search widget here. You can use it to search on your website. And the same applies to the footer. We even have a footer menu just here. When I go to the about page, it will take me straight to the about page right there. Okay. So let's get started. So to get started, we are going to come over here to our plugin section. We are going to add a new plugin. And the plugin we are going to add is called Elements Kit. It is over right here. I have it activated. Once you have it also installed and activated, you'll, it will show up right here with this ribbon. Then come over here to templates. Come over to elements kit itself. Come over here to modules. Make sure that the footer and header module is enabled. By enabled, I mean it should be on. Simply hit save changes. But also when we come over to elements, you realize that there are a number of other widgets or elements that you can use in your Elementor website for free. Now these are the pro ones and these are the free ones. But once you are done setting up or enabling your header footer module, come back here to the elements kit, come to templates. And then come over here to add new. Then we are going to add a new demo header. The type is supposed to be header and it should show on the entire site. Now in case you want to create a header that is particular or specific to singular posts or the archives, that means you will have to get the pro version of elements kit. But in this case, we simply want to create one header that is going to be showing on the entire site. I'm going to turn it to be on. I'll save changes and then I'll edit content. By editing content, it means that I am going to be editing the content of our header. Now we can start from scratch and create sections of our header, but that's not what I'm going to do. I'm simply going to come over here to EK uh, because Elements Kit uh, makes a number of free templates or pre-made headers and sections that you can use in your Elementor website. I'll come over here to headers. And now when you look here, I have a couple of pre-made headers, those that are pro and those that are for free to use. In this case, I will pick up one here. I think this one works well for me. And boom, it shows up here. I can make changes to any section of this header. I can make changes to the logo by changing it over here. I can switch the menu. For example, when I click here on the widget for the menu, I come over here and then I select the menu that I want to use. I'll use our main menu and I can even delete other sections that I don't want. For example, I don't want the last column. So I'll simply delete that column from there. Okay, then I simply hit update. But maybe before I go any further, if you want to know how to select a menu, you simply come over here to your pages, come to appearance, come to menus. And from this section, you can create a new menu by coming over here to create a menu. And you can give your menu a name. Ours, let me say it's a demo menu. And then you can assign pages or posts to that specific menu. So in this case, I've added all these items. So you can even move or order those sections the way you want them to appear in your menu. Then once you are done, you simply hit save changes. And that means that now your menu will be able to show up right here in your menu editor. So in this case, I simply don't want to use it, this menu. I will delete the menu. I come back to my canvas. And uh, once now I am done making changes here, I simply can just go back to our dashboard. And now when I come here to our page, realize this is our old header. When I reload this page, boom, our new header shows up with our logo, our menu, and our search for our website. Next thing we are going to do is now we're going to come over here to Elements Kit, and we have to create a new template for our footer. 
come to my templates and then here we come to footer and we are going to create a new template for our footer so i'm going to name it ek demo footer i want it to be a footer and i want it to display on the entire website i will activate it i save changes and then right here i'll come and then edit the content of our footer that means we are going to add our footer content or layout once it shows up here like i said you can create everything from scratch you can even get templates from the elementor template library but in this case i'm going to use templates from the elements kit library i'll come over here to footers and then right here i can search for a template that i want to use in this case i want to use this one i'll simply insert that widget or footer and boom we have our footer template show up right here so we can even add another widget right here for example i can add a menu widget navigation menu can drag it over here i can delete what was there and then i can make our navigation here select the menu that i want to show up that side that's how now it looks like i can make that our menu maybe i can reduce a little bit on the height I make it to be 30 okay now this looks fine i simply hit update and now when i come over here to my page when we scroll down here this was the default footer when i reload this page boom you realize that now we have a new footer having a logo description of our website social icons and then the rights and a quick menu right down here so in a nutshell, that is how you can create a header and footer for free using the Element Kits header and footer builder. Thank you so much for watching. In case you have any questions, comments, please let me know down in the comment box below. And if you like the video, please give it a like. Have a good time.